Hello, wrestling fans. You are chilling with Kenny C right here on TMVCafe.com, bringing you entertainment to your ears. My next guest is a professional wrestler all the way from the Sunshine State of Florida. She is the Hollywood horror. She is Lexi Gomez. She is with me right now. Yay. Good evening. Yes. Hello. Hey, how's Hello, it going? Hello, good evening. <laughs> It's going. It's going. Thanks for having me. Great to have you on the show on this particular week and everything. Starting off, it's a new week. We're like almost into the end of the first month for you know 2024. Um, how are you feeling about your 2024 thus far? So far, so good. It's always uh, I always like the start of the year. I like the, the new reset of, you know, a new year and stuff like that. It's always a good thing. Um, and it's cool because we started on a Monday this year. So I was like, first of the week, first year so far, so good. Like I've been in the gym a lot, um, just getting ready for all my shows. I kind of like uh, saved, you know, some time off the beginning of January, you know, so I can start getting ready for February. So I'm getting ready for that now since the end of the month. So I've just been in the gym preparing and just getting ready. And so far, it's been pretty good. I'm just only January, but it's a good start so far. I definitely respect that. Um, like when it comes to the beginning of the new year, it's like everybody gets a clean slate. What happened last year, was last year you want to do you want to get things going right per se you want to you know get you know come up with some new things to do new memories to make you know for you as a mm -hmm. performer like mm -hmm. trying to expand let more people know who the Hollywood whore is it's a very fascinating uh nickname uh so with that being said uh what made you decide to you know what What's the story behind the Hollywood horror? Okay. Um, so I'm obviously a huge horror movie fan. Um, I remember growing up and just watching horror movies to put myself to sleep. Like I've always been a weird kid that would rather watch those than, you know, cartoons and stuff. So um I don't know. I was wrestling for a while and I always used to call myself the unbreakable like C Gomez. And I never really understood what that meant besides the fact that I felt mentally unbreakable at one point and I used that and I just, you know, I used that for the longest time. But this past year, I was like, you know, I kind of want to get more into a character. I kind of want to get more into something that I can bring to life that I have like my two worlds put together, horror and scary, dark stuff and wrestling. And so I kind of brainstormed around, you know, um, coming up with ideas and stuff. And I've always been a huge movie person. I've always been a big movie buff growing up. Um, and it kind of just, it just all started just falling into place. Um, the more I started wrestling, the more, you know, I was like, okay, I know I want to do something darker. I want to do, I want to be more of myself. You know, I want to bring more of the horror into the light. And so, um, yeah, like the past summer, I just, uh, I started working this year at a show called Pro Wrestling Action, and they definitely helped me a lot with developing my, my, myself as a, as a wrestler and, and uh, really bringing out my persona as the Hollywood Harbor and start the show. Um, it's really like, it's, it's a mindset for me. It's, it's, um, I want to see my name and, and flashing lights, but I'm also like, you should be afraid of me, you know, like I'm not the one to, to mess with. I will, you know, try to creep you out, try to scare you, you know, but I'm also very glamorous, you know, like there's the little thin line that I really feel like the more I wrestle and the more I, you know, get to tap into myself, into my character, the Hollywood horror comes more to life. And, and that's just, you know, more than just a nickname. It's like a lifestyle for me now. And it, it's, it's great. Like I said, I don't feel like it all fell into place and I'm happy where I'm at. And, you know, I can't wait to create more fun stuff. I do like that about you. Like, especially performers, like trying to find that thing that, that fits your character. Could be like uh, inspirations behind it. 
you definitely are a a horror buff per se. Uh, yes. Hollywood, you like the scary movies, like you like that type of ordeal, and then you you bring that to your character with your development and everything, and uh, it's definitely looking like it's working to fruition. You definitely have Thank embraced you. it. And uh, you said it's not just a nickname, it's a lifestyle, literally. Mm -hmm. And uh, so um, I'm pretty sure I, I could tell that, you know, you coming into the wing, you be scaring the kids, especially. <laughs> that's the goal. That's the goal. <laughs> yeah. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. Like the kids going to look at the mom and dad like, yo, that Lexi Gomez scared me to death. <laughs> it's a little, a little hard, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, that's it. That's what I, that's the main goal. So so since you mentioned your love for horror, uh, mm -hmm. what are some of your favorite um horror films or maybe uh, some of your favorite horror actors? All day. I can name this <laughs> all day. My favorite all time and I feel like anybody who knows me knows this it's the bride of Chucky um that's been like my favorite movie since I was little and I just I love the it's so cheesy the Chucky doll is so crazy like it's not scary at all but I just love how it's like dark and comedy and uh thrilling and you know um it's just iconic all in one, like specifically Bride of Chucky. Like I like the Chucky series. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge Chucky fan, but specifically my favorite is Bride of Chucky. Like the Bride of Chucky is my favorite. I can talk about it all day. Scream, obviously. Um, I love I like a lot of like the slasher icon movies. I love um Bride of Frankenstein too. Like I watch like like I have a big list of them. I could talk about it literally all day. Like when I do my promos and when I do like um some shows and stuff or, or like some you know photo shoots and stuff I always do like I've been trying to do like odes to like my you know my favorite movies and stuff like you know like the ring and like you know you know the shining and and uh I do a lot of stuff inspired you know just by those kind of movies and um yeah those are just a lot of my favorites uh Texas Chainsaw Massacre is up there freaking um Oh, there's so many i love friday the 13th i feel like it's crazy a lot of people are not gonna like this if i say it but i like the the newer friday the 13th it was like 2000 like eight or 2009 i don't remember but it was like one of the last like friday the 13th movies and it wasn't like one of the classic ones but in my opinion that's like one of the best ones love it uh same thing with evil dead evil dead the, the, the 2013 remake or whatever i feel like i like that one a lot more than like the classic which is crazy for me to say because i usually like the classics but those two i feel like those remakes those are superior and you know my list of horror movies and i get literally this interview will be like three hours long if i just sit here and tell you all my favorites so. hey, i love it i love it i love your, your passion for it. i love how you just smiling when you when you talk about <laughs> It's, it's very you're very passionate about it and uh, um so i like chucky i've never seen the bride of chucky and because of you i'll definitely will give it a watch please, um, please. Look, and you have I, to message me and you gotta let me know you gotta tell me you're gonna love it it's it's iconic you're gonna love it <laughs> i got a feeling i do like, you know for the chucky stuff for the comedy you know yeah it's could a perfect blend a nice blend so yeah, I I like Friday the Thirteenth, Nightmare on Elm Street, um. So I'm more into those type of films, like slasher per se. kind of films, slasher right? Yeah, things like I go to Scare Fest convention here in Lexus, in Kentucky. We get all this. We get all this horror legends here. The Paranormal. Uh, that's oh, that's so um, much fun. I love those kind yeah. of conventions. Yeah, I my my only my only issue. Is that some people really try to scare you, like when oh. you're just walking by? You try to meet some people, check the costumes, and then people just come up behind you and try to scare you. Uh, I feel like that was that's something that Lexi Gomez would do if she was in a convention. I truly believe. Oh that. yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. You can't trust me. <laughs> Well, she put it out there. We beat and wash out. Yeah, I'm, a little, I'm a little sneaker. Watch your back. Keep your eyes so, on the swivel. So what I just known is if you're in a wrestling show, if you're in a public place, wrestling show, convention, 
Watch out for Lexi. Uh, she she'll scare you from the side and the front. Don't matter. She watch the blonde hair. Maybe that'll help. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Watch> yeah. <it. laughs> so, um, so let me ask you this: You mentioned you got some, you got some coming up in February. Uh, so yeah. go ahead and mention what some of the shows where people can check you out. Okay, yeah. Um, in February coming up, I'm going to be making uh, a debut at Cre in Crestview, Florida for this new company, um, Pro Wrestling Resurrected. Um, I'm going to be doing that, I think, on like the 4th, the 3rd or the 4th. I'm really bad with dates. They're all on my page. You guys can find them. Um, I'm also going to be in um, uh, Newport Ritchie for uh, GCW on the 17th of February. February 10th, I'll be at Pride of Wrestling with my first title defense, My Way or the Highway. We're going to be in Seminole. Um, I'm going to be going up against Allie Rex for the first time. I beat her at the last show. Basically, I beat her up, you know, because her in her street fight, you know. But I uh, came in there, cashed in my contract, and became the new champion. So February 10th, I will be defending my brand new championship there. So y'all definitely get your tickets now. And y'all also can get your season passes there for Pride Wrestling. So you can see me, like, all year long, you know, beating up these girls and whatnot. Um, yeah, I think that's what I have for February. Uh, I've shined this coming up weekend. Yeah. That's uh, January. And then I have a couple other dates coming up, but it's all on my pages. Yeah, check out the pages. She's on Twitter. Yes, we are still calling it Twitter in 2024. Yeah, I don't call it I don't call it X. I go, don't I'm gonna go on X. Twitter. Like what I don't I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I remember uh, uh, that's the first time I ever said it out loud too. Like, I don't like it. Yeah. I, I've never seen anybody go on and say, I like X. Like, really? Really? No. Nah. Not for me. Not for me. Nah, that ain't gonna cut it. Uh mm -mm. so she's on Twitter, she's on Instagram, she's on <laughs> Facebook. Look up Lexi Gomez. That's L-E-X-I in Gomez. And uh check her out. Check out the shows, check out her adventures, check out what she's got in store. She's gonna be in numerous promotions in the Florida area and uh and uh go buy her merch. Go yes. say hello. Got new merch coming out, so keep an eye out for that. Yeah, so now obviously one thing I notice about wrestlers, like going into the new year, they got goals. They got things they want to accomplish. They also got like a list of opponents they want to go up against, per se. So for, from your side of things, who, who are some of the independent wrestlers, free agents, whatever? That Lexi Gomez want to go toe to toe with. Um, that is a great question. There is a lot um of people that I want to have matches with in 2024, but I feel like one that I I feel like I'm pretty sure she's a free agent. Um, I definitely want to have a match with her. Um, Sue Young. I've always wanted to step in front of the ring with her. Um, it's definitely a dream match of mine that I definitely would love for it to happen this year, manifesting that. Um, my mother's uh, Marty Bell and Allison Kay always would love to rest, uh, you know, get to work with them. Never got to have the opportunity yet. And I love them so much. And I think they're very talented and I would love to be able to share the ring with them. Um, well, yeah, I think that's like my top, that I could think of right off the top of my head yeah but I'm I'm like I would love to my favorite thing is definitely um getting to share the ring and um have like a first time match with you know different wrestlers it's always like a great experience and opportunity for me so I'm always down to be able to anybody you know that's the goal for this year is just to wrestle a bunch of you know different girls and you know that I have been wrestling for like the last year you know in, in the area so I definitely want to branch out more and have matches with different girls so definitely on my list this year I definitely love Sue Young I love how she's like a chameleon like she she, oh, yeah. could be, she could be regular Sue you know that she could be like 
uh, Su Young, like that intimidating character. I mean, she she could be funny, she could be scary, she could be whatever she wants to be, and she makes it work. That just shows how talented and uh, versatile she is. Uh, uh, out of giving your character and her character, I definitely believe y'all could make some magic there. Uh, it would be so much fun. Uh, it, it'll be like fuck a, it, fuck it. Yeah. yeah, so Sue Young, whatever, if you're listening to this, maybe Lexi, she, she wants to go toe to toe with you. Uh, so, and Marty Bell and Allison K, um, they have done incredible. They, they still going at all these years. Yes. So legendary, yes. two legendary talents. Icons. Um, and I've been fortunate to know them uh, the last few years. NWA, Wing of Honor, Impact, they've been everywhere. All the promotions you could think of, and uh, they're still going, individually and collectively. So, yeah, yeah they, they are true legends uh, in this professional wrestling business so that's pretty cool um so i you know yeah that would be dope that would be really really dope yes um yes. so i enjoyed what the hollywood herself miss lexi gomez the hollywood horror uh we don't talk wrestling we don't talk horror movies we don't talk uh wrestling and all things like that i'm so happy to have you on this show and you definitely made me got my juices going for for horror. Like I gotta get Yay. back. I I kind of been I've been kind of falling off of it a little bit, but now okay, we'll get back in it. Yes, I'm happy right. to hear that. It always makes me super happy. So I influence the horror to people. <laughs> the, the I want people thing, to think of when they when they think of Halloween, they think of me. You know, and I love that. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna assume that is your favorite holiday. Uh, oh yeah, I wish it was Halloween like at least once a month. Uh, but I know we can't get everything we want, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm very I happy wish. to hear that. I'm very happy. I want you to tell me if you watch the Bride of Chucky. Yeah. I want a full report. Um, I don't. I'm not gonna give you a deadline because it's Monday, <laughs> but Let's I would see. like one soon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I I with all these. Um, with all yeah. these streaming services that I have, I'm pretty sure I can find my check somewhere. If, one if of, not, I will. I will send you a link. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, Lexi, it was so great to chat with you. Uh, yes. this evening. Uh, thank you so much for your time. I'm excited to see more of you in uh, 2024. Definitely will continue to follow your journey. Uh, she's on X, she's on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and go check her out. Book her if you want Lexi on your show. Uh, she, she brings a lot to the table. Uh, she, yeah, she gives you the tricks and the treats. Um, <laughs> literally. See, I had to use a Halloween Secretary, I love you even more now. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, so it was great chatting with you. Thank you so much, Lexi, for Thank your time. Thank you. Had a lot of fun. It was fun chatting with you, too. Great chatting with you. Continue success and everything. You enjoy the rest Thank of your you. week. Thank you. Thanks again. Thank you. You, too. All right. Bye-bye. All right.